here we are with uh, Mondays with Barry, and we're outside of the the uh, Chelsea ground here, Barry. Say hello to the viewers. Hello, to the viewers out there. It's a lovely day today. We're just going to give a little bit of a tour about the, the, the new sensational rooms. Okay, we're just and looking facilities. over here. What's that? What's that just in front of us? This here is the canteen, which is pretty flash. Uh, I was just telling you before. Yep. That uh, we've got boiling water on tap. Boiling water on tap. the girls. Boiling jug for the coffee and everything. It's very okay. classy. Very good. And just down down there, what, what happens down there, Steve? So we're going towards the rooms now. Okay, that's all right. Just here. Yeah. What's there's, that? There's the Chelsea rooms there. The best best rooms I've ever been to in my life. Ever. Okay. These rooms. No kidding. And that's the uh, entrance to the hallway or something to go upstairs. And What's upstairs? Function room up there. And then, of course, you go around here. Around here. Around here, yeah. The new stand. Which has still got to be painted, I think, too, Colin. It's, we've got to get this painted. It looks a bit rugged. Okay, so you've got the concrete steps, which look a bit average. Yeah, paint them. I mean, they've painted this down there. See down here? Oh, look, that's grey. Okay. They should paint all that. I might do it for myself. Okay. Now, they've got, um, if we just go up there, there's like a... Is that new, the, um, no, the, the scoreboard? No, that's, that's an old score. Yeah, I do can't it. remember it being there last well, year. Well, that's the cricket. Cricket scores. Okay, so that's for the cricket. That'll be taken down. But so, uh, it's, uh, they've really changed the whole rooms and everything. Oh, look, it's like, it's fairly, it's like three motels here in this ground. So they've really classed up, spent a bit of money, 2.4 million. A lot of money, well spent too. And, and it's, uh, if they can't play football here, or they, they've got the best rooms for functions and dances and whatever they want to do later in the season. They've just got, got the works here. They're just, it's very classy. Yep. Okay, very good. And then the ground, uh, just if we have a look over well, here. the ground, you can see yourself there, that ground is like a carpet all the way around. And I tell you what, uh, little Colin, the little curator, he's, uh, him and his council are doing a marvellous job this ground. Now, just got the goalpost, new goalpost put in down there, that in, down the, the Catherine Avenue end, which is, and they just got some new, uh, new invitation glass, grass in the uh, goal square, which is going to settle in by the time we start the season, I think. Yep. But the fact that it, this ground and the facilities and the club rooms wouldn't get better if you went me and my way. Very good. It's unbelievable, I'll tell you. What are we for? So we're in front of the... What are we in front of here, Barry? Tell us. We're in front of the new canteen here, which the blind is down there for security, keep all the things away. But I was just telling you before, you've got boiling water on tap to make the coffee and tea, which is going to be good for the girl because they don't have to be boiling jugs all the time. Very good. It's very, very classy in there. Excellent. Well, um, just wanted to have a little chat with you about <coughs> you went to see a game over the weekend of Chelsea's first practice match. What did you think of it? Well, compared to this time last year, Colin, they, uh, it wasn't as, they were a bit rusty, as I said in my little headline, uh, Chelsea's rusty start to the season, but they, uh, they don't look as fit as they was last year, but they were whether they haven't been uh, training as hard, but I think they've been. They've been, been training the last six weeks, six or seven weeks. And uh, but they played a very good side on on Saturday, St Pauls. So they'll be. I reckon they'll nearly knock the Premiership or wherever, whatever competition they're playing in the next year because they're, they're a very good side. Well, you were fairly buoyed last year, and you thought you had high hopes. What's your hopes this year? What's the prospect well, this year? Well, this is a little bit earlier we done last year. When I, when I did my little forecast, that was probably early April, but. At the moment, they, I mean, there's plenty of room for improvement, Colin. It is, uh, they've got a few new recruits there, which going to smarten them up. Uh, but I think that well, you, you can't sort of get too carried away early in the season, but I just think they're a little bit not as fit as they was this time last year, that they were last year. Okay, so you're not, you don't, you're not as, as excited. You think a few people need to maybe step up. How was Louis' game on Well, Louis he was very ordinary on Saturday. A few of the other stars were pretty ordinary too. The Pow, not the Pows, are uh, he's gone. Clouds and uh, Carmody and Luke Damon, he's, he's been, hasn't been trained for a while either, but... Uh, Who else has caught your eye, Barry? Oh, we got, uh, got a little written down here. That's the Luke, the big Ruckman. Just that paper, sorry about that. But that new Ruckman, he's going to be a, he's going to be a star. Fabian De Luca, he was on the Port Adelaide list, wasn't he? Or? He was about four years ago. He is he's just a natural six foot nine. He moves well, he kicks the ball well. He's just going to fit in very nicely. It took a while to get going on Saturday, but uh, but the first half was pretty slow for all the players. But the second half, especially the last quarter, they sort of started getting a bit, a bit of rhythm and uh, 
Klaus started getting a few kicks. Dame kicked a couple of nice goals, but the two Cartman. Did they win? No, they got beaten by four goals, four or five goals, I think it was. Okay. But it was a pretty low score in the first half. Of Chelsea only scored two goals in the first half. Fair enough, yeah. And, and they didn't score much either, but it was a pretty. They're very good scientists, St Paul. Number 16. Where about they located? In the uh, down towards sure. Melbourne, down towards. Uh, they play against Height and all them. Not Height, uh, Shelton area down there. It's a pretty good competition down there. So with the Carpenter boys, um, a few others, you're pretty sort of buoyed about that. Well, the two cut, especially Sam. I tell you, well, I have to get, I have to interview him in the next couple of weeks. He is a, he's a fascinating little football. Well, not a fascinating, he's a very good football, but he's got his little. Uh, he's one of his arms sort of. I'm not sure whether he was born. He with was or born he, that way, yeah. But he's he, from Crib Point. I remember. I used to be in Crib Point. And I remember his family down there, this is talking about 15 years ago. I'm well, he was about. playing in the Stingrays about four or five years ago with his, with his uh, disability, I mean... That's VFL, isn't it? I mean, to be picked and play in that competition, best underrated, underrated kids in the state. Hmm. And he had a couple of years there, I think, and well, he's been to Bond Beach. Last year we played Bond Beach down there. Hmm. He kicked four goals, he killed us, killed us. He's a freak. I mean, I mean that in a nice way, but he can, he's a very good football and... I've got to get him over my place and interview him the next few yeah, weeks. Yeah, see if you can build up a relationship with him and see if we can get him on. He's a very interesting fellow and, he, he's a, and his brother's pretty good too, number 43 on Saturday. I think his name's Gary, I think. Not sure. So the Carpenter boys. The Carpenter boys. More than make up for the Jackson Powell exit? Well, I'm just saying, talking about it, we lacked a bit of uh, Rovers uh, ability on Saturday afternoon. They, uh, Aren't they Rovers? Well, they're on balls, but... Uh, Jackson Powell, he's becoming sadly missed off here now, but they've got another rover who didn't play last week, who's pretty good, they tell me, and he's got a bit of a hamstring problem, but I hope he's playing next week. We, we need the out in and under, get the ball out the packs, Con, from the middle. But they'll say a few of the stars, especially Louis, I mean, I can't believe the last time I've ever seen him play a bad game. But when, when I, I mean, it's very, not very, it's very rare Louis doesn't play too well. And he's, no. uh, but he'll, uh, he'll fire up, he'll be... Uh, He'll fly up next week. This chap will get him going next week. You watch that. He'll stir him up and say, right. And we're playing a good, pretty good side this week. Three scores, me. Okay. So just with that game that we just had, Barry, um, who were the better and players? On Saturday. On Saturday against St Paul. Well, the good players are very few and far between, but uh, I must mention the Carpenter boys. They, they both put in... Little Sammy here was probably nearly our best player. And uh, Rory Gregg played a good game. Ryan Stewart come good in the last half. So did McLeod. And... Uh, but Nigel Carmody or so, oh, he, he played a fair game, but they say Rory Gregg, Finneymore played a good game in the back line. The game kicked a couple of goals, which about all he done. And who else? Harrison was, well, Harrison always plays well, but he was, he was down a bit too, but it was a pretty... Uh, a bit rusty. Very rusty. You said uh, even Louis admitted him, to you that he thought it was a poor game for him. Well, I didn't, he didn't have to tell me, because I knew it. I mean, I, I don't give him a rap all the time because he doesn't play a good game, but he, he was... Ordinary? He was just... Ordinary free standards, yeah, very ordinary. And uh, but he'll uh, he'll smarten up. Is he still the captain this year? Well, he let yeah. him out on Saturday. I don't know whether he's been appointed yet or not, but I hope he is. But it's got nothing to do with me. But I think he deserved another year as captain because he a champion year last year and led the side pretty well. I thought. Okay. But uh, Ryan Stewart, I must mention about Ryan Stewart. He uh, he started the fire after the second half. He was there's a few mistakes made by most of the players, but the, he was. He's, the longer the game went, the better he got. Very good. He'll be, uh, he'll be another, another star play player. So we're playing right? Scoresby this week in the practice game here at the, the lovely Chelsea Oval. Um, so what, when is that? Well, it's on Saturday afternoon and I was talking to Russell. About 2 o'clock sort of thing. I was talking thing. to Russell, my mate, the snake, which I, don't, I prefer to call him Russell. I don't like to call him snake, but he's telling me a few things about the players and he knows this fellow from school with his seven foot ruckman so wow. he'll test our ruckman out next Saturday. Bit of a monster. Yeah, he's um, good football. So, so get, down, get down here on, you'll be here reporting live from the game? I'll be here watching the game. Watching sure, the yeah. game, giving the viewers um, your um, uh, expertise, expert opinion. Now just swinging over to AFL, the AFL season has started officially on Saturday. I saw a bit of that game. Um, yeah, pretty close, 12 goals, It was interesting it? because I thought that they stuck with them. They stuck, GWS stuck with them. Well, I watched a bit of the last quarter, but no. Did you watch the game? I did. Israel Folau, mm, not sure about him. No, he, he played a fairly ordinary game, I thought. 
Um, but there was some good. Uh, there was a good backman, Tim Moore. He yeah. was very good for the. Uh, uh, Tim Moore is a backman, very old-fashioned backman. Um, so he was good. And um, they're all youngsters, aren't they? All no, Tim Moore was about 24, a VFL or player or something like this. Um, oh, I didn't have much good. interest in that game. Mate, he was good. Uh, but it, it was hard to see. Sydney were always going to win it. Uh, so this game, there's a game coming up this week between Richmond and Carlton. Well, I'll be watching that, Colin, that's for sure. And I do think, I told you last week, Richmond will beat Carlton. I'm pretty confident. How much? Going in there, I reckon, I reckon between three and six goals. Okay. Yeah, I'm has that been the first time for a long time? Well, the first time I've, uh, I'll be putting some money on Richmond for a long time because they've, they've been pathetic the last few years. But the, well, last year was a bit of an improvement. I think they will beat Carlton. Okay. And it should be a good game, but I'll... Uh, and I'll let you know what happens about that next week too. But I think uh, the other games on the weekend is it. What's the main game of, of the AFL? Is there any? What's it, who's oh it? no, St Kilda's playing someone. Oh, I don't um, Port I Adelaide. Port, that's the main one. I reckon this will be the main. <laughs> Port Adelaide, everything. Yeah. Oh, there's a few Essen and I, I think a Richard Cup might be the main uh, game this season. Hawthorne to Long, I think maybe even. Yeah, you know, I don't know. There's some. There's some big. But it's all starting now. The proper season officially started on Saturday, but it really starts on Thursday night. Thursday night. That'll yeah, be yeah. good viewing. Uh, looking forward to that. Now, um, yeah, so you, you were promising you probably haven't got it ready yet, your ladder for the end of the year. No, but, well, um, maybe, but, uh, but we'll, we'll see that again. And um, that's, not too, that's not too riveting either. But, uh, no, the main thing is to get this Chelsea. And they've got new goal pace on there too. Go on, they've got the, 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 the point pace a lot longer. They are too. Yeah, which is... Is that good both, or bad? Both ends. They just, they just put them oh, in so you can place. tell a little bit better if it's a point or not. Well, uh, it's a new innovation because it's always been a lot shorter, no? It hasn't. Okay, well, uh, there's something that's that quite might be a first for, for Chelsea football. Round, quite exciting and new. So you got to just um, you've got you took a bit of footage of the practice game. Yeah, I got. And then we'll, we will make no, better. A bit of, bit of not, didn't. Uh, oh, I've a few little interviews and things. Few, uh, yeah. few little, little chat was talking about. Uh, and that, that will be available after this video, straight after. So if you keep on watching at the yeah. end of this video, we'll tack it on because we've got more than 15 minutes. Yeah, we're well, allowed to go for about four hours now, Mr. YouTube told us, can he? We can go yeah. as long as we want to. Go for two days. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, we won't be doing that. So you got, um, you're talking to who? When? On this, the, who did you talk to on the weekend? That's we got on video? I Was didn't talk chapel? to anybody, no. Okay. I, didn't, I just, I just put a bit you're of... You're skulking of around the in, shadows. They're in the rooms, on the ground. And skulking around the shadows. He loves to see himself in camera. I'll chat, I'll, I'll, but he'll, he'll, he'll still be side up the service this side up this week for next week. All right. In. Well, that's the end of this video, and stay or not the end. Of, keep it, keep tuning in at yeah. the at, and see the um, excerpts of the weekend. That's right. I'll be so, on after this. So that's goodbye from me. I'll see you next Monday afternoon, same time. Bye bye. So Barry, you have some more news regarding the game. Yes, I should have forgot that over and over the football ground in Con, but I must mention a young fellow had his first game in the seniors practice game on Saturday. Bradley Clark is a brother of Jason Clark and he's got another, Clark, another brother too called Luke but Bradley's first game I told his old, man, his old man's called Roland I'll tell you what Roland he's going to be a very good football and I think he'll he fit in pretty well on the half back flank and he's backed himself in he's got, he's got a big future so kids so just keep your mind right Bradley and look after that second effort too otherwise you're going to be a good football so just keep it up Bradley
don't control the booty, they control the fuck. Don't give it up. Alright? See? I know what you're trying to do. But if you're going to play on, mate, come into the midfield there, it's going to be a good game. If you're going to play on coming to the midfield there, mate, that's has to be 100% on. Otherwise, you go wide. Right. Alright? We do the right on, on Saturday. We finally got the slow play going. It opened up. We got on the end of it. You'll leave the half hearted coming down the ground there. You're quicker than that guy. I want you to keep going. If it's not on, don't wait and say, well, okay, now I'll get that one. Because if the bloke with the ball then, then you might where to go. Keep leading hard. If you drop one short, it's yours. If it doesn't, face over the back. Don't ever get marked in that situation, all right? All right, so you know the one we mean where we actually did get the spread? That's where we're going. I reckon you did a good job there on um, number nine there. Yeah. Just if he goes forward, if he, if he goes for that ball one, they will use him. So just stay on it. Don't stay off and end up in no man's land. Just stay on it. So if you got a job, stick to it. All right? Rory, doing a good job down there. Okay, good, 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 good job down there, mate. Okay. Babe. Good, mate. Good in the rough, then. Good in the rough. Luke, you can't ever run the ball. Not Sammy. Sammy. Scotty. Sammy. Okay, one, two, three. Sam, uh, Scooter and Paddy, how are those? How are they going? I reckon those are going well. Okay. Yeah, they can be right here. Yeah, well, when he drags her out, like that, no worries, no worries. If he's in a dangerous position, all right, but otherwise, he's stuck in. Got it into that hole, bang, now take off. But don't just, you're not on your own. We need to communicate. That's the first in situation, good feedback. If he drags me back there, back, yeah, get a swap on and get Scotty as a run. We want, we want him to be, the, if he's coming across our day, we want Scotty to be the release man. All right, they say, Scotty, I've got him, go. Alright, they want to drag eight back. <laughs> Fucking no worries. It's set out of pressure and they're the one on board. Okay? We also have a thing now. Start, our forward started to take a mark, didn't they? Alright. There's the triangle. Yeah. Um. 